the crunchy leaves. Best noise ever. Okay, you guys have been asking us to do this video for a very long time, and now that the weather's cooler, we can finally do it. You guys have been asking us how to introduce your dog to a Springer. I'm going to tell you how we introduced Memphis to the Springer, Shelby to the Springer. I'm going to use Memphis as an example. So you guys can get an idea, if you buy one of these, how to introduce your dog slowly to the Springer. Um, I have another video up where I kind of talk about what the Springer is, how to safely use it. I'm going to put a link somewhere on the screen here and down in the video description so you can go watch that video because I don't want to have to re-go over all of that stuff. First I'm going to tell you the essentials that you need. To go biking with your dog, you're going to need a bike, a Springer, an urban mushing harness. These can be purchased at alpineoutfitters.net. You're also going to want a short leash. I use a four foot leash. I explained that in the other video. And to get your dog used to this, you're going to need a bag of treats. Now, Memphis has already run with this a few times. Um, she's not a very fearful dog, so it was very easy for her to get used to it. Come here, babe. But basically what I did when I first taught her how to use it was I sat here with a bag of treats. I sat close to the bike with a bag of treats, and I pretty much made her come get near it, and then I shook the bike. You know, kind of made it make a little bit of noise. And every time she wasn't afraid of it, or she checked it out, or she was interested in what was going on, I gave her a treat. Told her she was a good girl. Because you are a good girl, I know. And you're beautiful because you just got groomed. Um, you can't put your whole face in the bag. But basically that's what I did, and then you can take a treat, you can kind of take the dog, walk the dog around the bike, and as you go around the bike, kind of shake it, move the tire a bit. Spin the pedals, you know, just so they kind of see that it's not going to hurt them. Make them get close to it, you know, reward them whenever they're not fearful of it. As you can see, Memphis isn't fearful of it at all, at all, and she wasn't when we first started either. But that's pretty much how, you know, it'll, it might take a little while if your dog is a little bit more fearful. It might take a little bit of time. You can do this a few, few minutes a day every day until, you know, when the bike makes noise, your dog has no reaction. Once your dog has no reaction to any of the noises the bike is making, then you can move on to the next step. The next step, if you haven't already done so yet, is getting your dog used to wearing a harness. Again, with the harness, you don't have to necessarily be out with the bike to do this, but what I did with Memphis was I would put it on her. <laughs> do you not want to put this on? I would put it on her and I would leave it on her for a little bit, reward her, tell her she was a good dog, give her treats, and as long as she wasn't trying to back out of it or pull it off, she got treats. I would do that for a few minutes each day for about a week. So she got used to understanding that this wasn't a bad thing. Another thing you can do is when you put this on them, put it on them and take them out for a walk. Even if you're not necessarily biking, put it on them and take them out for a walk. So they associate this harness means fun is happening. Now once your dog is used to wearing the harness, the next thing you're going to do is hook your dog up to the bike. But you need to start off slow. Don't think you're going to hook your dog up to the bike and go a million miles an hour. That One, it's not safe. Two, your dog still doesn't know what they're doing. So you have to be very careful when you do this. Go slow, pedal slow. You might have to hold your brakes if your dog really wants to pull, like Memphis does all the time. Um, you might have to hold your brakes at first and, hey, what are you doing? Woodpile. <laughs> um, and keep your dog at a slower pace, again, until they really realize what they're doing. With a Springer, you don't necessarily want to go really, really fast with your dog. It can be dangerous. You don't really want to do that until they're really, really used to it. And then even then, I don't. I let my dogs go really fast for very short amount of time. Uh, if, if really fast is what you want to do with them and you want them to run really fast for long periods, you want to do bike joring, not use a Springer. Which one? Of, I have a bike drawer set up too, and one of these days I'll explain to you guys what that is. Now, the next thing I know everybody wants to know: how do you teach them to turn? How do you teach them their commands? Well, the nice thing about the Springer is the dog really doesn't have much of a choice on where to go. Uh, they have to stop when you stop. They have to turn when you turn. Uh, <clears throat> I use the same commands that I use sledding. Uh, right is G, left is haw, whoa, hike. Memphis, you want to go hike, hike, hike? Memphis, come here. Memphis, you want to go hike, hike, hike? Hike, hike, hike? <laughs> um, and basically what I did, and this was one of the ways that my dogs learned sledding commands too, is I biked with them before I sledded with them, except for Memphis. Um, when you go to turn right, slowly start making your turn right, and just start saying, G, G. With Shelby and Shiloh and Oakley, they all eventually just picked up on it. I mean, I'm sure there are probably more efficient ways of training them. I got another treat for you. But that is how I trained my girls. And whenever I hit my brakes, I always say, whoa, 
you know, so they feel that pull back and they feel that they're being forcing, forced to slow down, that helps them to slow down. So that's basically a real simple rundown of how to get your dog used to ride, you know, running next to your bike. Um, when you start biking and you start taking off slowly, if your dog starts to panic with the noise, keep some treats with you for the first few times. You know, just stop. Don't detach the dog or anything, but stop and reward your dog with treats when they calm back down and they're not so afraid. Some dogs it takes a little bit longer, some dogs just get it right away. Memphis is one of those dogs that just got it right away. Um, the four foot leash, uh, I talked about it in the other video. This is just a safety. Um, I modified my hook on my Springer. It comes with a special safety release, but I've modified mine. Uh, so the, what the leash is for is if for any reason this comes off or something breaks, or even, you know, the dog gets loose, I still have her, I have this on her collar, and I have the leash in my hand. Another reason you don't want to go super fast, if for some reason something does go wrong, you don't want to be flying at 20 miles an hour and have the dog come loose and take off. Or be hooked to this and take off. So you really got to pay attention. Once you get the hang of it and you get used to it, it's so much fun, and it is a great way to exercise a high energy breed. Are you high energy? Are you high energy breed? No, Mama, I'm not. I'm really not. <laughs> but as you can see, Memphis is not scared of the bike at all. So I know. Now it's time to go for a ride. Want to go for a bike ride? Want to go for a bike ride? Want to go run? Let's go run. All right, you guys. We hope you enjoyed today's video. Hi, Memphis. I love you. Um, if you have any questions, I will try to answer them. Leave them down in the comments below. Uh, I will try to go through and answer them as, as often as I can. We get a lot more comments than we used to, so it's a lot harder to keep up on questions. But if you get some questions, leave them down there. Or shoot us a message on Twitter. Um, I'll put some other links down in the video description to the other videos that we've done on the Springer. Like I said, there's also a link down there if you want to go buy one. Uh, they're very worth the money. My first Springer I still have. I've had it for nine years. This was actually the second one I bought. Um, but the first one I've had, I've had for nine years. They last a long time. They're not cheaply made. Uh, and they're very worth the money. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Stay positive. Dream big. Go have some fun with your dog. And just so they don't get left out, there's an Oakley girl and a Shelby girl. Look at they they all got groomed. You're all beautiful now. Every one of you is beautiful. <laughs>